All right, I'm gonna do a first ride on this thing. I'm a little worried because the carburetor started leaking gas and that is of the overflow. I think the floats are off. So it started leaking in one of these hoses. Hopefully that's not gonna be the case, but I do have to stop at a gas station, fill her up, and then just take it for a short spin because the tires are still a little bit on the deflated side. Starting. Hit the choke a bit. Alright. You see that? It's already leaking. I'm hoping that it'll stop. Free air. Man, this is difficult to... Alright, I'm all filled up and this is when this thing comes in useful. So 20 euros, 20 euros is about 24 dollars a gas. Kind of expensive. Best to fill this thing up probably would be 12 dollars. That's a big difference. Now it's not leaking gas. So we're gonna go just for a short spin. I'm not doing a lot of um, high speed riding or anything, but I did fill the front tire with air, but I could not get the hose to connect to the rear tire. Yeah, this bike feels really raw. It's, uh, it does feel like a tractor. <clears throat> you know, I've forgotten how, how cool it is because every time like I ride it, I get all of these looks. Hey, everybody just kind of stares at it. I'm asking myself, am I gonna keep it or am I gonna sell it? I just feel bad leaving it in storage. Sure, it's a good bike for <clears throat> coming to Europe and just riding around, but it's also a old bike. And when you have an old bike, you know, it's hard to get pieces and parts and all of that good stuff. So for me, it's all about reliability. And this bike has been fairly reliable, except for the fuel pump. It left me stranded two times. It was the same fuel pump, but the first time I I fixed it in, in Spain, Palencia, Spain. I got a tow to a garage and the guy just sprayed the oil in there and started up. It was a baby, baby fix until I got to Cannes, France and it decided to completely crap out there. So with that, I had to completely buy a new pump and that was 250 euros. Now you can get it on Amazon, a Chinese knockoff version for 30 dollars. $30. But I bought a facet pump. Those are the ones that uh, Africa Twin guys recommend. Up ahead is a very interesting area. This over there past the water is called the Costa Nova. And that area over there across the river is extremely famous. We're gonna go there, but for right now, we are still on the other side. That's why it's cheaper over here. You know, this area is known for the cycling, so you get a lot of people riding because it's mostly flat, but it's only flat in this region, and then as soon as you leave, it becomes like twisty. That's what I like about it. It feels like a vacation, very relaxed, and you get out of here, and it's full of like awesome curves. The bike paths that they have here, and a lot of people now are switching to electric bikes. Even electric scooters here are becoming the thing to get. We did a nice little 10 kilometer ride as a test. The bike so far feels pretty darn good. I don't feel anything. The gas leak disappeared. Maybe I just needed some exercise. All right, that's the maiden voyage, guys. And hopefully I don't have any more rust in the brakes. The brakes are working great. Rip brake is sticky though, but I'll take that. 
I haven't decided if I want to sell it because I kind of want to sell it. And not because I don't like it. It's because I just can't stand having it sit for so long, you know. That's the one thing that I keep telling people. You got to ride those bikes there or, or else they're just going to like crap out on you. So that's it, guys. That's the first ride on the Africa Twin. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll be doing more videos of this bike pretty soon. Thanks for watching.